Well, hello. My name is Trey Marshall, and this week I'm going to share how I set up a session for mastering. A question I usually get is, do I need a dedicated software for mastering? Depending on what your needs are, I would say no. Normally, I would use a program called WaveLab Pro 9. But weighing at a whopping $544.99, that might not be an option for a lot of people. Now, when you're mastering and you need to make a DDP image, or if you're dealing with hard disks, then you'll need some sort of dedicated software. But if it's just something that you're going to upload to SoundCloud or iTunes, then you do not need dedicated software for mastering. Now, this is the part where I tell you, if you have the budget to get a professional mastering engineer, then do so. But if you're really interested in mastering, if it's something that you really like to do, more power to you. If you've invested in a DAW that you usually mix in, whatever DAW you use, then that should be sufficient for mastering. So here we have an album that I've mastered in Pro Tools, and I'll show you how I set up my sessions. So I have my individual audio tracks. I have my markers set up to how much space I want between each track. And I have a print track where I record in real time all the tracks and their effects. So let's look at how I set that up. So the gray tracks are my regular audio tracks and the colored tracks are the effects tracks for each song. So remember in the edit window, all the tracks were staggered so they're not all playing at the same time. So I have my audio track routed to the aux track, which I put my effects, and from there, that is routed to my print track. I will push the input monitoring button so I can go from track to track and listen and balance the sound from there. So for those of you that were wondering, that's how I set up my mastering session in Pro Tools. Well. I'm going to leave you now. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you next week.